Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one is, what is the ground state electron configuration of oxygen? Okay, so oxygen. And when we say ground state configuration, this just means that electrons in the oxygen atom weren't lost or gained. So when we want to find the electron configuration, we do a set of uh, steps. So the first is to divide your periodic table into the different orbitals. So for example, the S block is this, uh, the left two columns here. The P block is this whole green rectangle. And the D block are the middle transition metals. And the F block are the last two rows, which are the lactonides and actinides. So starting from hydrogen, we move left to right across the periodic table writing the uh, row number and then the block letter right after it until we get to our desired element. So in our case, this is oxygen. So oxygen is found uh, right here, atomic number eight. So that means it contains eight protons and eight electrons in its ground state. So after we write down the electron configuration, we can double check that it's right if we count out the number of electrons that can be summed up in the superscripts of our uh, electron configuration. So starting from hydrogen, I'm going to write the row number, which is 1, and then the block letter, which is S, and then a superscript of 2 to show that there are two electrons in this uh, orbital. And this corresponds to the same as hydrogen and helium's electron configurations. So then moving down to the next row, we have 2s2, and then across to 2p, and then we count up to oxygen, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So the electron configuration of oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. And we can double check by adding up all the superscripts to make sure that we have 8 electrons. So 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. So we know that this is the correct answer. Now let's see what the junior tutor said. 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Explanation, an electron's electron configuration, or an element's electron configuration, is a numeric representation of its electron orbitals. Electron orbitals are regions around an atom's nucleus where electrons are likely to be located. An electron configuration can tell a reader how many electron orbitals has an atom, an atom has, as well as the number of electrons in each of its orbitals. So it shows the distribution of electrons of an atom in a molecule. The area where the electrons orbit is called an electron shell. As an atom or molecule gains electrons, they fill different orbital sets according to a specific order. So each set of orbitals contains an even number of electrons when full. The sets of orbital are the S, which can hold two electrons, the P, which can hold 6, the D can hold 10, and the F can hold 14. 
So when writing electron config configuration, you first find the electron's atomic number. Each atom has a specific number of electrons associated with it. Locate the ele element's chemical symbol on the periodic table. Number two is to determine the atom's charge. Uncharged atoms will have exactly the number of electrons as represented by the atomic number. Three is to write the electron configuration notation. Electron configurations are written so as to clearly display the number of electrons in an atom as well as the number of electrons in each orbital. Each orbital should be written in sequence with the number of electrons in each orbital written in the superscript to the orbital name. The final electron configuration is a string of orbital names and superscripts. Step four is to fill in the orbitals according to the number of electrons in the atom. And then in writing the electron configuration, we fill the, in the electron orbitals starting with the lowest energy, following the off bow, Pauli exclusion, and Hund's rule. Ground state oxygen atom has eight electrons. The first two will go into 1s, next two go into 2s, and the last four go into 2p. Yep, so the solution is correct. Thank you.